<coughs> okay, we'll begin. Oma Jnana Timarandasya Jnana Shalakaya Chaksur Militanyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Anchakau Patarubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patitanam Pavani Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nichananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasudhi Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare We're reading the Brihad Bhagavatam Rita and we're hearing how Narada Muni is searching for the person who has received the greatest mercy from Lord Krishna. So he had gone to the heavenly planets and he thought Indra who was the greatest devotee. But Indra told him, no, Brahma is much better than me. So Narada Muni came to the planet of Lord Brahma. So Narada Muni glorified Lord Brahma as being the greatest devotee. But Lord Brahma did not accept the words of Narada Muni. So, uh, Lord Brahma is explaining to Narada Muni why he's not really a great devotee. Brahma just like and Brahma says, I, I become proud of my birth because I took birth from the lotus flower which came from the navel of Lord Vishnu. And he said, I'm always burdened by the problems of managing the universe. And I, I worry about the destruction of my own planet. And all I really want for, to, for myself, what I really want to get is liberation. And for the purpose of trying to get liberation, I engage other people to worship the Supreme Lord. And I also worship him myself. So the, the Supreme Lord, the Lord of the universe, he, he lives everywhere. He doesn't just live on my planet. Because Narada Muni was glorifying Lord Brahma that you're so fortunate the Lord resides on your planet. But Lord Brahma says, no, well, no he resides everywhere. And Lord Brahma is saying that I'm, Lord Brahma is actually saying I, I'm worshipping the Lord just for my own benefit to get liberation. I'm not worshipping him out of devotion. I, 
I, if I was really a good devotee, I would worship him just with pure devotion. But I'm worshipping him for my own benefit. I want to get liberation. So oh, you shouldn't think the worship which I'm doing is a sign of my being, of my getting, the, don't think I got special mercy from the Lord, I'm just worshipping him for my own benefit. And he doesn't just live on this planet, he lives everywhere, he's inside and outside of everything. And the Lord, he accepts offering. When I do sacrifice, the Lord will accept the offerings from me, he, uh, but he only accepts them just to encourage the, the teachings of the Vedas and to show special favor to the sacrifices themselves. Yeah, the, the Vedic sacrifices are actually created by the Lord Himself, so they're very dear to Him. Yeah, they're dear to the Lord because they give benefit to all the people who, who engage in His service. The Supreme Lord is eager to bring all the conditioned souls back to Godhead, back to His abode. So the Lord reciprocates with Brahma because the Lord is concerned for the welfare of the universe. It's, it's, not, it's not that the Lord is so much interested in Brahma, but He's interested in all the living entities. So Brahma is describing the 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 thoughts. Uh, he's, he's he's describing the the limitations of this kind of religious practice. Like offering sacrifices, you 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 have God. But God is, is kept, the Supreme Lord is kept at a distance away from the devotees. And there's no consideration about the Lord having compassion for other living beings. Actually, the Lord cares about all living beings. He has personal concern for all the living beings. Even though many living beings, they're living in the material world and they just don't care, they forget about the Lord. 
for for a very very long time they forget about him, but the Lord never forgets them. So Lord Brahma says to Narada Muni, the Supreme Lord only loves devotion and he shows his mercy only to his devotees, not to non-devotees. So this is, of course, this is confirmed in many scriptures in different places that the Lord is only pleased by devotional service. He can only be understood by pure devotion. So Brahma says to Narada Muni, I, I don't have any devotion for him. I would be happy if it was true that I never offered him, that I never offend him. I, I cannot expect, he won't tolerate my offenses. He may tolerate Lord Shiva's offenses, but he, he won't tolerate my offenses. And Brahma gives the example, he said, I give benedictions to that wicked Haranyakashi Poo. When he worshipped me, I gave him benedictions. And he tormented all the world, he gave trouble to all the world, and he was dedicated to violence, especially to the Vaishnavas. He gave a lot of trouble to the Vaishnavas. So then Lord Nishingadev came, and Lord Nishingadev destroyed Haranyakashipu. So at that time, Lord Brahma said, I came there with, a, with my entourage, so many demigods, and we all stood, and we, we were very afraid of Lord Nishingadev. We stood at, at some distance away from him, and we tried to glorify him. We tried to offer prayers, but he would not even listen to us. Uh,在那个时候，我就带着我所有的这些随行人员，那些办事人们，就来到主跟前，就来到主这里，然后我们都远远的站在呃主很远的地方，我们试图用我们的祈祷来平息主安抚主。But，嗯，sorry，嗯
。但是主就对我非常生气的对我说，再也不要向这些恶魔们给予他们祝福了。But Brahma says that I kept giving benedictions to demons, and I gave benedictions to that demon Ravana. 但是 Brahma 说。我我仍然持续不断的还在祝福这些恶魔们。我祝福了恶魔拉万的。I don't want to, I don't like to use my tongue to even speak about all the sins which that person Ravana did. 我甚至都不想用舌头说来立举那个那个恶魔拉万的所做做下的种种的罪行。So Brahma is going to describe the offences which he considers he did. He was responsible for against for doing offences against the Lord. Brahma 就接下来他就要来列举他对主所做的种种的冒犯。So he talked about Karani Kashipu, and then Brahma also. Tells about how Lord Nishingadev was angry at him for his mistake to give benedictions to Harani Kashipu. Brahma 谈到了提兰亚喀什布的时候，就说：“嗯，主，你身上被因为他给予提兰亚喀什布祝福，因此就对他非常不满意。” So Brahma had given Harani Kashipu benedictions, promising him that. He would be invincible; that nobody would be able to kill him. Brahma 就曾经呃祝福的提拉喀什布，让他不会被任何嗯不会被任任何条件所杀死。And because of the benedictions which Brahma gave Haranikashipu, Haranikashipu did many offences against the devotees. And against the Lord Himself. Just because Brahma gave this evil demon so many blessings, so this evil demon did to all to all those souls, to all the Brahmins, did some evil acts, and he even offended the Lord Himself. The Lord takes offenses against his devotees more serious than offenses against himself. 就是比起呃，对他本人所做下的冒犯，主并不是很看重，但是主非常的在意对他的不信者所做下的这些冒犯。So after Lord Nishingadev killed Haranyakashipu, Brahma and the other demigods tried to they tried to pacify the Lord. 当主杀死了提兰亚喀什布之后呢？ Rama 和其他的半神就试图来让至尊主变得平静下来。They, the demigods, all thought that they, that Lord Nishingadev would be kind to them and give them blessings. 他们都都以为主会对他们非常的仁慈，并且祝福他们。They thought maybe Lord Nishingadev would place his lotus feet on their heads. 他们以为主，你身上贝不会将他的莲花手放在他们头顶上祝福他们。But Lord Nishingade was so angry that he he didn't even recognize the demigods. 但是主，你身上贝不，他是如此的盛怒，他甚至都没有没有认可这些半神人的在场。And then finally, Brahma got the courage to come in front of him, and then the Lord. Also told that he was not pleased. That 最后呢，主布拉玛本人就鼓起了勇气，就来到主那圣阿贝面前。但是主那圣阿贝告诉他，他对他根本就不满意。And it was only when Prahlad came and offered prayers that Lord Nishingadev became peaceful and calm. 最终，当。小普拉的来到主面前的时候，只有在这个时候，主才变得，嗯，怒气才消下来，他才变得平和了。And so then at that time, Brahma thought he thought that now that Lord Nishingadev, Lord Nishingadev is calm, 
He said, now I will go and offer my respects and prayers to him. But Lord Nishingadev was still angry at Brahma. And Lord Nishingadev said to him, as told in the Srimad Bhagavatam, he says to Lord Brahma, he said, Oh, my, oh great Lord, born from the lotus flower, it is dangerous to feed milk to a snake. The same way it's dangerous to give benedictions to demons. Demons are always angry and envious and jealous. So don't give any benedictions to the demons again. So Lord Nishingh they didn't want to excuse Brahma for his mistake in giving these benedictions to the demons. Even though Brahma was born from the navel of Lord Vishnu, but still Lord Nishingadev chastised him and told him, you did wrong. Brahma's a jiva, and jivas have the tendency to make mistakes. And later on, we see Brahma gave Ravan, also he gave Ravan benedictions, and he benedicted Ravan with supernatural power. So when Ravana got that power, then he disturbed the whole world and he offended Lord Ramachandra and he kidnapped Mother Sita and committed many, many sins. And Brahma says, Do you remember the offenses committed against the Lord by Indra and the other demigods? Because the, the, these demigods, these demigods become proud of their position, and that did, because of their pride, they're not able to make proper judgments. Yeah. Indra was so proud that he sent rain to to flood the whole of Govardhan. And Indra sometimes also fought against the Lord, did many offenses. So 
And Varuna, who is the lord of the lord of the waters, like the ocean and so on, Varuna, he offended the Lord. He kidnapped Nanda Maharaj. And he failed to return the cows belonging to Bana. And Yamaraj, he also made mistakes. He allowed the he, he, he allowed the, the death of the son of Lord Krishna's teacher, Sandipani Muni. And Kuvera was also responsible for the for the for the sinful activities of this demon Shankachuta. In the in the bottom in the lower part of the universe, then the Danava, the Daichas live there. The Daichas live in the bottom half of the universe. Bottom part, the lower planetary systems is where the Daichas live. And they always attack Lord Vishnu's devotees. And the, there are many serpents there who live in the bottom of the universe. They are the friends of the Kaliya serpent. And they're, they're always angry, these serpents. So Indra had told Narada Muni that Lord Brahma, he, his, he has the position, because he's the, the oldest in the universe, he can decide who should be the ruler of the different planets. So Indra was glorifying Brahma in this way, saying Brahma is so powerful, he, he gives the positions to the different demigods. But Brahma is showing to Narada Muni that this is not a good quality. Brahma is showing that actually he, he, does, he does many, he's not good at that job. He did many bad things and he feels ashamed. Because the different rulers who Brahma put into position, they committed many offenses against Lord Vishnu. And Brahma considers that because he put them in power, so the offenses they made, it's also due to him, because he, he, gave, he put them in that position. So Narada Muni, he knows about all these different things which happened. But Brahma is asking him to remember them. Brahma已经熟悉所有这些事件了, 
呃 Narada 熟悉了这些事件了，但是 Brahma 在这里就要求请求 Narada 来考虑一下，重新再想一想这些事件。Yeah. Indra offended Krishna. He tried to destroy all the people in Vrindavan and all the cows. Indra 冒犯了主 Krishna， 因为他试图摧毁 Vrindavan， 杀死那些母牛。And when Krishna took away the Parijata flower from heaven, then Indra fought with Krishna. 当 Krishna 从天堂取走 Parijata 鲜花的时候，英者试图跟 Krishna 作战。And Indra also criticized Krishna. He criticized Krishna as not fully respecting his supremacy. 英者还曾经批评 Krishna， 他并不尊重 Krishna 至高无上的地位。Actually, earlier Indra had mentioned some of his own offenses. 事实上，在早些时候，英者本人也曾经提到了他做的这些冒犯。But his memory of the other offenses was covered because of his pride. 但是。他本人所做的其他的冒犯呢，他已经忘记了，就是因为他已经被骄傲所覆盖了。And the same way Varuna, he had arrested Krishna's father Nanda Maharaj when Nanda Maharaj was bathing in the Yamuna River at a wrong time. 水神巴鲁纳也对 Krishna 的父亲 Nanda 做了冒犯，因为 Nanda 是在一个错误的时间。Nanda Maharaj was bathing at the. It was the last minute of the night, and it was the beginning of the Dwadasi. Nanda Maharaj 沐浴的时间是在这个夜晚的最后一分钟，而且是在是是在 Dwadasi 的开始。So Varuna ordered Nanda Maharaj to be taken prisoner and bound and brought to his kingdom. Brought to his court. Shishen Varuna 就命令将 Nanda Maharaj 逮捕，带到他自己的大庭上。And Varuna also took some of the cows that belonged to Bana, and to have sometimes spoke. He also spoke sometimes in the wrong way. Varuna 还拿走了本来属于巴纳的母牛，并且他有的时候他的说话也是错误的方式来说话的。And Yamaraj is the god, the god of death. He took away the young son of Krishna's teacher, Sandipani Muni. The boy was just a young boy, but Yamaraj took him to to Yamaloka. 而死神就见阎罗王亚玛拉兹，他也带走了 Krishna 老师 Sandipani Muni 的小儿子，因为那时候他还很小。Yeah, Yamaraj he allowed the demon, this one demon Pan Panchajana, to kill the Brahmana boy, Sandipani Muni's son. He allowed this demon Panchajana to kill him. Yamaraj 就允许了这个恶魔 Panchajana 杀死了。And it's also described in some scriptures that Yamaraj also became an enemy of Krishna, and they fought to, in battle. They had a fight with each other. 经典当中也曾经描述提到说 ，Yamaraj， 他也曾经和 Krishna 展开对决。And then Kuvera, Kuvera had a servant. Whose name was Shankachuta, and this Shankachuta tried to kidnap Krishna's cowherd girlfriends. Kuvera, he had a servant called Shankachuta. He tried to kidnap Krishna's cowherd girlfriends. So we know that the two sons of Kuvera, they had been cursed by Narada Muni to become trees. We know. Kuvera's 
so they got involved they got involved with king kamsa and they were supporting king kamsa uh, so beside the demigods indra varuna yamaraj kuvera there's also the soup the, the the four principal directions there are many minor demigods and they're all guilty of offenses against Krishna. And the, those serpents in the bottom of the universe, they also get blamed because they are they're the relatives of Kaliya. So then Brahma is now going to speak about his own offense. He said, just recently, he said, I stole the calves and the young calf are boyfriends of Krishna. Hmm. I took them all away. Brahma said I took them all away when the, while the boys were having lunch. So this is this was the worst offense, which this was the most serious of the offenses Brahma did. It was worse than all the offenses of all the other demigods. Krishna was having his lunch with all his friends and they were in, in the forest of Vrindavan and Brahma disturbed them and, and stole the cows and then stole the cowherd boys. And Brahma took them away and hid them in a cave. And Brahma said, that, and after I did that, I saw some most amazing wonders. And I became scared, I became frightened. So I offered prayers to the Lord and I bowed down to him and I thought, oh, I'm so proud, I'm so arrogant. But now I can see how the Lord, the cowherd boy, he tricked me. So Krishna arranged for Brahma to see that Krishna had taken the place of all the cows and the calves for the whole time, for one whole year, because Brahma had stolen them away for one year. And for one year, Krishna took the place of all the cowherd boys and all the calves. So Brahma saw each of the boys and cows. And he saw that they were all spiritual and they were actually the forms of Krishna. Brahma亲眼看见每一个男孩子和牛犊们都有一个灵性的景象, 
And they were all holding within themselves, they were all holding the universe. So when Brahma realized this, how the seriousness of his offense, what he did, he became very afraid. He thought himself so proud that he had dared to, uh, he had dared to come and offer prayers and obeisances to the Lord. So Brahma focused his mind on Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna was standing before him just like a cowherd boy holding a handful of chipped rice and yogurt, which was his food. And Brahma is there before him offering prayers. And Krishna had taken that food from someone else's plate. So Brahma was so surprised, he was just amazed to see the pastimes of Krishna. And Brahma is there offering prayers, Krishna doesn't even respond to him, he just ignores him. But Brahma says, just by the glance of favor, Upon me, upon when Krishna just passed his glance upon Brahma, then Brahma became very joyful. And Brahma realized, Brahma realized how fortunate he was that he could visit the land of Vrindavan which is so dear to Lord Krishna. So Narada, he may wonder how everything was all right with Brahma. So after Brahma made the mistake and became embarrassed, Narada is wondering, how, how, is everything all right? I mean, Brahma is, now Brahma is sitting in his own abode and he seems quite happy. So is everything okay? So, one answer Brahma gives is that he, he, he felt the purpose of his life fulfilled just by seeing Krishna's smiling face. And Brahma also feels that he was very fortunate, he got the opportunity to go to Vrindavan and to stay there for a little while. Vrindavan is the most sacred land and Krishna is the only shelter for the people of Vrindavan. So Brahma had not 
he had mistreated, he'd not t dealt very nicely with these cows and the cowherd boys of Brahma, of Vrindavan. So it was better for him to leave Vrindavan and to go back to Brahma Loka. So Brahma said, I was afraid I would commit more offenses if I stayed longer. So I left there and said, I, I, what I, I you know, I, I'm telling you about my bad luck. Vrindavan is a place where Krishna enjoys the intimate dealings with his topmost devotees. Materialistic people shouldn't stay there more than a few days. They should just stay long enough to get some transcendental benefit by contacting the Holy Land. But if they stay too long, they may become offensive towards the Holy Dham. And they may offend even the people of Vrindavan. So Brahma thought of himself as one of the ordinary conditioned souls, so he went quickly back to his own place. He didn't stay long in Vrindavan. So Brahma doesn't have anything more to say about his own faults. He felt he had defeated Narada's praise of him. So Lord Brahma is now going to tell Narada Muni that he should go to Lord Shiva, that Lord Shiva is actually the person who got the greatest mercy. So Lord Brahma tells Narada Muni, he said, in, this, in the universe, there's the greatest, the person who gets the greatest mercy of the Lord is Mahadeva Shiva. He is a very dear friend of the Supreme Lord. Apart from Lord Shiva, everyone in every part of the universe, whether it's the upper or the middle or the lower, is imperfect. Of course, we, there are great devotees like Prahlad. He's a, Prahlad is a great devotee, and we'll hear about him later. And he, Prahlad, we could say, is a greater devotee than Lord Shiva. 
辣的，甚至和辣的，甚至是比主持的还伟大的奉献者。But they're not really residents of the material world. 但是他们并不是个物质世界的居民。A devotee like Prahlad is never affected by material contamination. So wherever he lives, it's a spiritual place. 像普拉的这样的奉献者，是不会受到物质的污染的触碰的。所以无论他去入哪里，哪里就是灵性世界。Mm. So what Lord Brahma says about Lord Shiva is right. 主 Brahma 对主 Shiva 所所所说的话都正确的。The both Brahma and Shiva, they're both Guna avatars. This. Means that Lord Brahma is in charge of the mode of passion, and Lord Shiva is in charge of the mode of ignorance. Purohama and Lord Shiva are both Guna avatars, pure persons. Purohama governs the passions and passions, and Shiva governs the ignorance passions. So Brahma can understand Lord Krishna's mercy on Lord Shiva because it resembles something. Within his own experience, Brahma can understand Lord Krishna for Lord Shiva's words, because this phrase is very similar to what he experiences in his own experience. It has a similar nature. But there's very, very special mercy which is obtained by some devotee who is much greater than Lord Brahma. So Brahma is not able to understand that kind of mercy. Yeah, if you want to compare things, then they have to be close to each other. They have, they have to be similar to each other. Then you can understand one thing better than another. Just like if you if you took the weight, what is the weight of a blade of grass, and then what is the weight of a mountain? <laughs> so you can't compare them. 比如说，一片草叶，一片草的重量和一一个山脉的重量，它们的重量就是相差如此悬殊，你是没办法拿来做比较的。So when the the goddess Ganga, the holy river Ganga, she says that the ocean. Is more fortunate than herself. She does not compare herself with Brahma. But actually, Brahma is much more fortunate than than them. 事实上 ，Brahma Brahma 要更加幸运了。Much more fortunate than the Ganga and the ocean. 婆诃摩要比恒河女神，比大海海洋更加幸运。So the same way, Brahma compares himself with Lord Shiva, and he doesn't compare himself to great devotees like Prahlad. 所以，同样的方式，在这里 ，Brahma 就把他自己和主 Shiva 做出了嗯比较，他并没有把他自己和 Prahlad 这样的奉献者做比较。And Brahma cannot compare himself to people like the cowherd boys of Vrindavan and devotees like Prahlad. Brahma 自己没办法跟像 Prahlad 以及像 Vrindavan 的居民这样的奉献者做比较。So Brahma said, "Lord Shiva is always intoxicated by the taste f 
from Lord Krishna's lotus feet. Brahma and he has no interest in any of the goals of life. He has no interest to want to rule the universe and he has he's no interest in sense enjoyment for of being in charge of anything. He doesn't worry about that. And he's no interest in even the sense gratification which you get if you become the ruler, you could get so much sense gratification. But Lord Shiva doesn't want that. He's not interested. But Brahma says, materialists like me, I'm just interested in, I'm addicted to sense gratification. But Lord Shiva, he goes around naked. And he wears a garland of uh, skulls around his neck. His whole body is covered with ashes from the crematorium. And his hair is scattered about and it's all matted, locked, you know. And when he moves, it's like he's a madman. He's not able to he's not able to hide his opulence. And on his head of Lord Shiva he carries the Ganga water from the water which has washed Krishna's lotus feet. And when he dances, he destroys the universe. So Lord Shiva has no ambition for anything material. He has no desire to be a controller or to be an enjoyer. Other people, they all want world, they want to enjoy, they want to achieve position, they want power, but Lord Shiva has no interest in these things. Lord Shiva only wants to be a servant of the Supreme Lord. And in Lord Shiva's eyes, he can see that Brahma and Indra are addicted to sense enjoyment. And their garlands and their ornaments and the perfumes, they last only a short time. And so these demigods are never satisfied. They're not satisfied for long because these things are so temporary. And 
，只能持续短暂的时间，因此他们并不感感到满意。Lord Shiva's garlands, however, Lord Shiva has garlands which are made from bones and from different intoxicating weeds. So when these garlands of Lord Shiva, when they decay. Nobody minds very much. It's not a problem. So, when these flowers are decaying, no one will notice. So, these are the Lord Shiva has his strange ornaments, but look. Uh, They're they're very attractive to Lord Shiva, very pleasing to Lord Shiva. So, so Shiva, he, um, has these strange things. But Lord Shiva is very attracted to them. Indra and Brahma, they have opulent garlands. They're like divine garlands. But Lord Shiva, he's happy with his garlands. 嗯，天地英者和 Brahma 他们都佩戴着天神般的事物和花环，但是主 Shiva 的事物跟他们截然相反。So Lord Shiva he has his ex on externally he wears his garland his ornaments appear strange, but actually his real ornament is the mercy of Krishna. 虽然表面上看主 Shiva 的这些事物都都很另类奇怪，但实际上他真正的装饰品是主 Krishna 的仁慈。Lord Shiva very humbly thinks of himself as somebody who doesn't have any mercy from the Lord. 主 Shiva 谦卑的就认为自己没有得到主的任何仁慈。And he feels. He feels it's worthy for him to wear the weeds and the bones around his neck like a garland. So he thinks he should wear the weeds and the bones around his neck like a garland. So he thinks he should wear the weeds and the bones around his neck like a garland. So he thinks he should wear the weeds and the bones around his neck like a garland. So he thinks he should wear the weeds and the bones around his neck like a garland. 就是这样生活的，他的行为举止是这样的。Okay, so we will stop here today. 我们今天讲到这里。看一下问题。嗯 ，Yes, there are three questions. Okay. 第一个是 Vandavan Nishwari Devdasi。嗯 ，Guru Day， 顶拜您的莲花族。我想参加经典撒水的课程，最近国内有，长老密码的企业开课了，我参加哪个比较好呢？嗯嗯嗯，达文伊什瓦尔迪达西是 asking you advice， 呃 ，which back s a s h i course to take， whether in the in China or by 长老密码的企业。No， you can take both them。哦。两个都可以。那一段没。嗯，那那无所谓，都可以。Jalangi's course will be quick. The other course will take a long time. So you could do both them. Both be good for you. Jalangi 嘛，他的课程呢，他的呃时间时间比较短。国内课程就比较长，所以都都可以，您可以都可以。OK。嗯，下一个是阮真的快步的，感谢马尔阮真，感谢阮真的快步。主 Brahma 不认为自己是伟大的奉献者，问题是一个合格的奉献者必须具备哪些素质 ？Since Lord Brahma don't think himself。The greatest devotee. My question is that, what's the quality should a um, qualified devotee, a qualified devotee should have? What kind of 
quality, character. Well, we'll hear as we go on, we'll hear about all the different qualities different devotees have. 随着我们接下来聆听,继续聆听的话,我们就会聆听到所有的奉献者,他们拥有的所有这些品质。Different devotees have different qualities, some qualities more than others. 不同的奉献者拥有不同的品质,有些人的品质要比其他人的品质多。we heard Lord Shiva's quality is he always thinks of himself as being a servant of Krishna. And he's very humble, he's very detached from everything material. So, Lord Brahma, he was, his quality was that he was taking a lot of, doing a lot of service on behalf of the Lord. He was overseeing, helping to administ administrate the universe, the problems in the universe. So, Yeah。嗯，下一个应该应该是找真头不代替别人问的。Harikrishna顶拜您，敬爱的姑姑，请问期待的本质是什么？对于一个发出期待的，呃，不知道谁的问题。Harikrishna顶拜您，敬爱的
go go may not fulfill. So that kind of person has to accept some some certain kind of like lifestyle. Yes, right. Yeah, you take birth again and again. So long as you have expectations from the material world, you'll come back again and again in different material bodies.因为他想在物世界有一些期待。Yeah。Next 有时候因为这样那样的原因很难坚持在这种情况下是不是大家合租房子做中心单纯的联谊比较好呢 because the local devotees are not so mature Mm, under the circumstances, what's your advice for our association? Should we associate in the mm, in hold association in our uh, our home? But uh, but if uh, that's the case, because of various reasons, so there may, there may be some problem. The association cannot go on very long time. So mm, so in that case, should that. Everybody pay some money. They they rent a house to become a a center uh, simply for the um, reason of association. Thank you so much for the advice. Yes, well, yeah. You have to do what's necessary. You know, you can you can have programs in people's houses. You can alternate. It doesn't have to be in the same house every time. You can take turn one one month one person's house, another month another person's house. You don't stay in the same house all the time. Different devotees take turns. Uh, 每次都在同一家联谊，就一个月在这家联谊，下一个那个月在另一个奉献者家里联谊，这样呢，不同的奉献者轮流坐庄。Sometimes we can also make programs sometime in the park. You can go in the park and be outside in the summer. 有的时候呢，联谊也可以在户外举行，在公园里举行。Sometimes you can find a place like a yoga studio. You can be in the yoga studio. If any devotees, a yoga teacher got a yoga studio, can use the yoga studio to have program. So, the, um, you know, sometimes we would go even to somebody, maybe somebody has a, a tip working in the kindergarten and they can go home, maybe you can use the kin have a program. Sometimes we in, in, the, in somebody's office, 还有的有曾经呢，我们曾经在某人的办公室，我们曾经在那里聚会。Where's a good place? 嗯，你们只需要去找一。And if if you have some, if you have the means, if you have you have the the money, then you can rent a place. 
呃，如果你们有钱，就是就可以租租一个中心。Maybe you can have somebody, have some devotee stay there. Maybe some devotee、uh, stay there. They also pay the money. They stay in the in the apartment. They can pay the help. They can pay the rent, and you can also pay a little rent to towards it because you have the meetings there every time. 嗯，那么就是呃，租这么就是租。那么就是这个人，因为他住在那个公寓嘛，所以他肯定要付付房租的。但是因为奉献者呢，也在他住的这个地方举办活动联谊，所以他们也要掏一些分担一些房租。嗯哼 ，OK。嗯。好，上面有下一个是，三海他尼亚如帕德瑞达西，呃，顶拜咕噜级奉献者们，我们应该有物质期待吗？比如说。向 Krishna 祈祷，期待亲人健康起来。Should we have a a, a material expectation? For example, we pray to Lord Krishna that we expect that when our family members will be healthy, recover from illness. Should we have a, that kind of prayer and expectation from Lord Krishna? Well, yes. Just like when Prabhupada was sick. We asked Prabhupada, "Can we pray to Krishna for you?" And Prabhupada gave us a prayer. He said, "Pray to Krishna, dear Lord Krishna. If you so desire, then please save Srila Prabhupada." So you can pray like that to Krishna. The dear Krishna, if you desire, please cure this devotee. Hmm. Uh, Shri Dasi, Shri Dasi, Shri Dasi. 然后他就告诉奉献者们，可以向 Krishna， 呃，对，为 Krishna 做出这样的祈祷。我亲爱的主 Krishna， 如果，嗯，就是奉献者们可以这样为帕帕的祈祷。我亲爱的主 Krishna， 如果您愿意的话，请拯救，请救救救十六帕帕的。所以，如果您想为某位奉献者祈祷的话，那么您可以这样祈祷，就说主 Krishna。如果您愿意的话，那么就请治好这位奉献者的疾病吧。好 ，Yes。OK， 其他你如果明白吗 ？Yes。其他你如果明白吗 ？Krishna is the ultimate controller. So, so we appeal to Krishna. If Krishna wants, then Krishna will arrange. 嗯，所以因为 Krishna 是终极的控制者，所以我们可以向 Krishna 发出这种诉求。如果 Krishna 愿意的话 ，Krishna 本人就会做出安排。We don't know what is we don't know what is Krishna's plan. 我们不知道 Krishna 到底有什么样的计划。Sometimes Krishna takes people away. He has another plan for them. 有的时候 ，Krishna 就会把一个人带走，因为他对这个人有其他的安排和计划。OK， 还有问题吗 ？No, Maharaj. That's all the question. Oh, really? OK. Yeah. So we'll finish here today then. 大家没有问题了，是吧？现在是没有。Yes, Mar. That's all for today's question. Okay, well, we can share guru money. Give one money, one we can share so all the functions are linked in T1. One we do for you, man. Shang Hao, Kuai La, Wan Shi Ru Yi, Chen Ti Jian Kan, Hari Krishna, Shri. Oh, Chen Ti Ni Ka De Si, Do Nin Song, Do Ji Yi Krishna. Here, here in the in China, we are. It seems that it's tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Is it was today here. Okay. Well, tomorrow you have a courtesy. I have today. Okay. Hare Krishna. Give my guru a favor. Ganshi Guru Padmamukhi Mataji to Funi Ganshi Nandafu Hare Krishna.